everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about whether we should tax unhealthy foods just like we do tobacco products. Since 1865, American citizens have been brainwashed into believing that cigarettes are good for your health. For years, scientific studies have shown the exact opposite. Finally, after many studies and many people dying as a result of cigarette smoking, it has become clear to all that cigarettes are extremely harmful and are one of the major causes of heart disease and lung cancer in the United States. Fortunately, and recently, the government placed a tax on cigarettes because of this terrible medical fact. The government placed a 10% tax on cigarettes to discourage people from smoking since the government finally figured out that tobacco has terrible health effects for the whole body. This tax has prevented millions of tobacco and cigarette-related deaths in the United States. The government taxed tobacco so that they would discourage people from buying it since tobacco was causing so many people to die in the United States. Using the same logic, why not place a tax on unhealthy foods like meat, dairy, eggs, sugar, salty foods, fatty foods, since they're also a large cause of death and disability every year? If there were a tax on unhealthy foods, it would discourage many people from buying them, which could result in saving millions of lives. When it comes to preventing people from buying certain foods, public health decision makers have two main options. One is to inform people through packaging and labeling. They use labeling and information to lead potential consumers away from the unhealthy products. Another would be politely nudging the consumers using incentives. An example of this would be giving 5% cash back to the customers who buy a stock of broccoli or any other healthy foods. Maybe if food industries started to display nutritious foods more prominently and tax the unhealthy foods, that could promote and facilitate healthier dietary choices. But would this idea work? And yes, it would work. There is a lot of evidence that does support this idea. As seen in Dr. Michael Greger's video, Would Taxing Unhealthy Foods Improve Public Health? The more unhealthy foods that are taxed, the lower the consumption is. It also works vice versa for healthy foods. The lower the prices of foods and vegetables are, the higher the consumption. Many cigarette companies have argued that the taxes on cigarettes are unfair and burdening the poor the most. The public health community responded by saying cancer is unfair and cancer burdens the poor the most. They also stated that a cigarette tax would financially benefit the poor the most. There was a fake committee that was created by the tobacco industry to support the tobacco industry called the Committee Against Unfair Taxes. This committee was organized and funded by the tobacco industry. This tactic is not unusual in the business world. Many committees like this are created by companies to secretly support the same companies, unfortunately. This kind of tactic is used a lot in the tobacco industry when it comes to arguing and fighting over tax percentages. This is usually when they want them lowered and is also used to buy politicians that can support their products and companies. A study was conducted where some researchers put people in a high-tech 3D supermarket simulator. They told these people to go shopping as if they were in their local supermarket. But this simulated marketplace had discounted the fresh produce, which is fruits and vegetables, by 25%. This discount resulted in a 25% increase in the buying of fruits and vegetables. This is great for virtual purchases, but what about in reality? A large insurance company in South Africa decided to test this theory in real life. They offered up to 25% cash back on any healthy food purchase. This is up to $500 per month. And there was a large increase in the consumption of vegetables, fruits, oats, and whole grains. There was also a large decrease in the consumptions of foods like meat, dairy, eggs, sugar, fatty foods, and salty foods. This experiment proved the theory that an unhealthy food tax would benefit the public. Many other countries have enforced taxes on sugary or salty foods. Denmark was the first country to ever enforce a tax on saturated fat, meats, dairy, and eggs. Saturated fat has been shown to cause heart disease, which is the leading cause of death. In the Western world. And unfortunately, within only one year of having this tax, the food industry removed it because huge food companies claimed that by placing this tax, the millions of employees working in those companies would have to be let go due to financial reasons. This information shows that the government only cares about the health of its economy and not the health of its people. 
The most unfortunate part of the termination of the tax was that the tax was removed right after the positive effects started to shine through. Researchers concluded that the introduction of the saturated fat tax contributed to reducing the intake of saturated fat among Danish consumers. This quote states how since the beginning of the tax, there had been a large decrease in the intake of meat, dairy products, and other unhealthy foods containing saturated fat. Overall, there have been many studies showing the possible positive effects of an unhealthy food tax. Unfortunately, the food industry plays a prominent role in the creation of taxes and the removal of taxes. If tax does not benefit their company, they will try their best to remove the tax using their power and money. So let's review. Many of the choices that we make when shopping for food are unhealthy for us. Unhealthy foods are the leading cause of death and disability for many causes, including heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and strokes. Health experts and the government can help improve shopping habits and health. They can encourage the purchase of healthy foods by offering discounts and discourage the purchase of unhealthy foods by taxing or increasing the price of unhealthy foods. Unfortunately, when the government tries to do this, the companies that make the unhealthy foods use their money to pay off politicians and create false advertising campaigns to block these actions. They get to continue making money while the people buying the unhealthy foods pay the price with their health. We can all do something about this by educating ourselves about healthy eating and make the right choices at the grocery store for ourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Also, make sure to press the notification bell to be notified whenever we post. See you guys in the next one.